Hello, welcome to the fourth exercise in the Rules Mastery series. Uh, this is the most complex of all the exercises we have so far and probably in the entire series. Uh, this is a kind of master test for you uh, to see if you can uh, handle all the important concepts uh, in rules. Uh, meaning that we'll, uh, you'll use things like data selection and uh, components. You'll also use parameter for components in rather complex ways. You'll use lists and you'll use loops uh, for, for looping over lists. And you will use uh, pretty complex um, conditions as well. So this is, well, it's tricky. Uh, go through it step by step. There are step by step solutions that you can use uh, in, in the show notes for this screencast uh, and I encourage you to think a bit and and talk to people nearby uh, before just watching the solution screencast and and uh, repeating it because thinking about this will probably give you uh, well will help you to understand how rules works and that being said this is a complex task so uh, don't get too frustrated if you feel it's difficult and ask someone nearby, there, there are instructors uh, nearby, and there's also the solution screencast that you can uh, look at. Anyways, what we're going to do now is to allow, allow users to level up. We have this uh, configuration page that I showed in the previous screencast that, uh, uh, where you can set point limits like 50, 100, uh, 250, and so on. And if I take my user account here, I edit it. I right now have 35 Drupal points and I don't have any of these levels. If I say have 75 points suddenly, save, I should now have gotten, yes, I have level 1 here because I have passed 50 points, which is the level 1 step. If I go to, well, say I enter 450 points, I will then level up to level 2 and level 3 and level 4 at the same time. Let's see if that works. Scroll down level 2, 3, 4. Cool. And finally if I hit exactly one level, 500 points, which is level 5, I should get this as well. And I do. Okay, so this will be a complex exercise for you. You will need, I'm, I'm going to show you, give you some teasers here. Uh, some hints. Um, this you'll need one reaction rule that reacts on before saving a user account. That's a very useful uh, event that allows you to get data from both the uh, the old and the new, the unsaved and the saved uh, user account. So you can compare the the Drupal points for that. Those uh, you will need to loop over. Well, load in these. Uh, Drupal points configuration that we have on the site and then loop over these uh, to check if the user has passed any of these levels. Um, and to do that you will need a uh, component that takes a number of parameters and then you do some fancy checks in there. Uh, that's I think all I want to say. Um, take your time. This is an important exercise. If you if you get this working, then you are you have passed the threshold and you can do all the cool and fun stuff with the rules afterwards. Uh, the upcoming exercises will be easier, just uh, exploring some of the basic things you can do, well, some of the interesting things you can do with rules, some of the actions and, and events and, and conditions that are available, and how rules interacts with other modules as well. Okay, uh, good luck then. Uh, see you around. Bye.